Okay, we're on our way to Pioche this morning. We're going to go up towards Ely. Uh, I'm Scott. We're going to be looking at some gold mines, and I guess there's an old ghost town up there. So uh, here's uh, one of my friends. My name is Two Times. That'd be. Uh, my name is Two Times. His name is Two Times. Two Times. Two Times. Why do they call you Two Times? Because I say everything two times. <laughs> I say everything two times. That's a good one, man. I like that Two Times. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that, Mike Richter back there? It was old Michael. He's leaving us. He's going to Washington. Here's Doc. What do you got in the bag today, Doc? You got any good smoke? Oh my God. Hydroponic. Best Hydroponic, ever. man. Herbal healing. We won't say anything that he's a GPAA president, Mr. Massey, yeah. from Nevada chapter, <laughs> Las Vegas. Uh, here we are on our way uh, 318 north. We're uh, looking for uh, old mines. This is cattle country. Let's see, we got some animal over there. Oh, that's a horse. See, there's a lot more vegetation out here. Natural growing, not being watered. Look at the size of that tree. This is Lincoln County, Nevada. That is a massive tree. Sucker's old, man. There's two time. Hey, two time. Why do they call you two time? Okay, guys and girls, we're on our way uh, into the hills to look for an old mining camp. And, uh, Bill, as you can see, he's driving. A little rough out here, but the Jeep seems to be taking it real well. The seats are very comfortable. I'm very impressed. So let's get a shot. So these guys out in front of us. Let's see if we can give you a little view. What's going on? Oh yeah. Automatic stabilization in this camera probably isn't gonna work. <laughs> well uh, let's see if we can get a little bit of a shot of the road up there. See there's the road. Okay. Silver? I would have to say, I guess it was silver. It could be either out here though. Silver, copper, gold, it's all out here. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, here we had our uh, Mount Irish petroglyph site. Here we are at some petroglyphs. Irish mountains looks like some kind of animal that's pretty cool some more petroglyphs some signage how do Italian sheep herders find their sheep oh we got a jokester here uh, what was that how Get do Italian camera. sheep herders find their sheep how do they find their sheep very satisfying thank you back to the petroglyphs Here's some more petroglyphs. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Put that knife away. There's no scratching your name in there. Oh, what? No scratching your name on here. <laughs> yeah. These are ancient Indian petroglyphs. Look, snow. Yeah, there's a little bit of snow right there. Snow. And here we got some more petroglyphs. And in the days of the Indians, these meant. Uh, a lot of things, these symbols, they meant like directions, train coming up ahead, designation of this area. It's pretty neat. Now all these petroglyphs, let's take a look at the train. It's nice and rocky. There's some kind of mountain lion, <laughs> mountain goat. These petroglyphs are Scratched into the side of this rock formation, this face. There's actually a picture of a human up there. There's part of our entourage. And 
It's so chilly, man. It's like 38 degrees, 35. Yeah. I was standing on top of that rock formation. With a petroglyph on it. Better get down before I blow down. Okay, here we are. Up in the high elevations in northern Nevada. And there's an old mine loading hopper. Back end of it. Wow. Trucks would drive under there and they'd get loaded up. And we go over here. And there's a mine shaft. Okay, there we got a mine shaft or draft. Listen this. Is that over like glass? Don't trip. Yep. Well, that's a deep hole now. See the copper? Oh, copper ore. Yep. Well, the canyon name is Silver Canyon, so. Here we got some copper. Well, see that green in there. I did. Yeah, it's deep. You didn't give it a depth test. Now if we get out of the light, see that green copper in there. Copper mine. Okay, here we go. Let's look at that mine shaft again. This one's going straight down, my friend. Straight down. You don't want to go down in there. Deep hole, isn't it? Yeah. Here's that old loading hopper. Still standing. That's nice. Nice old shit. Or stuff. Pretty damn neat, man. Well, we got us uh, some snow up here. We got the Toyota a little bit hung up. No, he pulled up there. Oh, that's right, he pulled up there. There's nothing in front of him. Okay, I just want to narrate a little bit here. Uh, we're uh, we're up at 7,200 feet and we hit that snow and our road came to a dead end so we had to turn around. And uh, it was a little cold up there. My teeth started, started to ache. Okay, here we're at another mine. And uh, we got Doc. Yeah, I got something here. Metal detecting. Says he's got some. Maybe it's a buried chest. Silver coins. That'd be sweet. Well, what did you get? Shit. Solid steel? Tin. That's the way it goes with metal detecting. Some days you're the dog, some days you're the hydrant. Some days you're the dog. Most days, you're the dog. <laughs> That's a quote that we'll keep on record. Well, people, I'm just uh, chilling out a little bit up here. It's about 35 degrees, and we're at 7,000 feet elevation. And I'm just taking it easy. I'll give you a little bit of a panoramic view of what's going on up here. So I'm just kicking back on this rock. If you look around, see a nice mountain range. It's probably about 9,000 feet up there. If you look down yonder, there's a valley down there through these trees. Nice, looks flat land down there, but boy, it's pretty rocky. And you can see this is what the cowboys in the old days used to ride through. And you can see I got my shoes off. My mom would be proud. I got me my GPS. You always have to have a GPS. It comes in very handy. So for now, I think we'll just uh, keep kicking back a little bit get a little more rest and uh, 
go back to the vehicles and have a caramel apple. Ciao. Okay, people. We're up about 8,500 feet. There's an old A-frame. Pulley sits in the middle. They hoist the ore up out of a tunnel. There's the boys down there. Hey, somebody moon this thing! Moon me! I got photo lens on it. No balls. Some snow. Let's take a look at the valley. Okay. Let's take a look what we're up against here. That's nice. Okay, we're going through Humboldt National Forest. We're actually cutting through ranches. And we got some old trucks laying around. We're all working ranches back here. It's really neat. What we got here? That was an old workhorse at one time. Really, you got an ice cream truck with the back end of one. There's an old case tractor. She's sitting in a junk heap. Be there until the next nuclear bomb's dropped. So here's a ranch. What do we got here? Oh, we got some old, GM, old GMCs. Sitting in the woods. And look at this. We got an old Johnson snowmobile. An old snow jet. Isn't that cool? Oh, and there we got the running of the bulls. Just chased one off the road. Okay, we're encountering a little snow. This is Humboldt National Forest. Going <coughs> through Nevada. But yeah, we got stopped by that old country boy back there and I was taking pictures of snowmobiles property owner came up to us says you're on private property we cut right through his front yard and we missed the turn but we're okay now he was cool okay here we're going through the forest still we see some sunshine up there it's starting to cool off now that we're in the shade the sun's gonna set in about an hour No, no need to get the snow tires yet. You gotta get a little higher up, maybe another couple thousand feet. It's getting deep. Oh yeah, we're loving it. It's getting a little deep. About three inches. That's nothing. We need North Dakota deep, baby. Minnesota deep. How about New York deep? Oh, New York deep. <laughs> yeah. That's what we need. Here's old Doc. Doc's nervous already. He's got his tires full of snow. So what do you think? Anybody got matches? I think we're headed downhill into the snow. I'd rather be headed uphill into the snow. Yeah. Well? You want me to, I'll tell you what, I'll walk down for a while. Alright, why don't you walk down? Let's see. I think this is the part I think this is the part where Rob needs shoes. Okay. Well I don't know, bro. I'm gonna go walk down there and check it out. Cause if we go down here we ain't getting back up. No way in hell. So, let's go check it out, see what it's like down here before we drive it. Okay, this gentleman just went down. Oh, we can't even see him anymore. 
to check the road out. I walked down about 150 yards and at 6,800 feet elevation, my lungs are burning. Okay, kids, <clears throat> we made it out. My throat's rough, man. We're at 7,900 feet when uh, I made that last trek in the snow. And now, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm paying for it. With some kind of damn whooping cough. Here's a panoramic view. I'm going to turn this night vision thing on. See if that enhances anything. Go back and take another picture of the vehicles. This is with the night vision on. We'll see how this picture turns out. And there's the road home. We're going to pick up Highway 370 something. 375. Get the hell home back to Vegas. Okay, well, I don't know if you can see my breath. But it is chilly up here. I'm sure glad we made it out of those hills. Because I would sure hate to camp out up here. That would be a real drag. Plus, Rob's only got sandals on. You believe that? He came up here with his sandals. That's all I got to say about that. Let's head back down. Adios. I mean, this is cool, man. I had a great time tonight, today and tonight. This was the highlight of the trip, as far as I'm concerned. Hey there. Here's my friend. Uh, two times our trip's over. We made it back from uh, northern Nevada, Humboldt uh, Forest. Uh, he's getting a picture of Doc. We're Mike. Oh, Mike, come here, Mike. We gotta say goodbye, to Mike. Yeah. There's Mike. Okay. Who? Where's Doc at? Oh, Bill. Let's get Bill in here. How you doing? It's Bill. His back was getting sore. Yeah. On the way back. What did we do? 500 miles today? Close to it. 300 uh, off-roading. Yeah, 300 off-roading. Let's get uh, let's get Doc in here. Is Doc? Uh, what's up? How much gas did you end up with, man? Um, I had uh, four tenths of a tank left coming back. Yeah. Thank God we got gas. Yeah, we were and we were worried about getting stuck. Figure that one out. Let's, let's take a walk over and look at Scott's truck. Get this guy Scott is here. Come on over here. Look at all these guys. They think they know what the hell they're talking about. A bunch of bombs, man. Bunch of bombs. This is Vegas bum fights. Bum fights, man. <coughs> Boy, after that trip last night, going up to uh, Mon Montana, middle of Nevada, Humboldt Forest, looking at all these mines that are hidden off the beaten path, petroglyphs that I don't see how anybody's ever going to find uh, because you need a four wheel to get to them. It's quite amazing. I slept a lot of hours when I got home last night, which was like 11 o'clock, and had a great time with everybody. So I'm going to burn a few minutes of this uh, tape so I can finalize it and we can all watch uh, the excursion we took yesterday. So I'm going to show you the rock.